My name is Higgs and this is my friend, Bo Zahn. Welcome to the Higgs world. Thanks for the introduction, Higgs. In this presentation, our goal is to offer you a quick summary of the research and conclusions. We follow inquiry-based learning model where students take lead in learning. First, they get a quick review of the research via the videos. Second, they review the paper to learn and understand key concepts. Finally, they can follow up with further research on their own to dig deeper. In the end students would have learned something new, latest and relevant. Isn't that wonderful boson? Great point Higgs. Please follow the links to review the research in further details. We want to thank all the authors and publishers for making this research public, thereby advancing science and innovation. Please like, share and subscribe. Today, we are reviewing a paper titled, A New Elasmosaurid from the Non-Marine to Paralic Dinosaur Park Formation of Southern Alberta, Canada. The Upper Cretaceous Dinosaur Park Formation is an alluvial to paralic sedimentary unit exposed in southern Alberta and Saskatchewan. These sediments were deposited on the eastern coastal plain of Laramidia, which drained eastwards into the western interior seaway. The dinosaur park formation has been intensively sampled for over a century, especially in the dinosaur provincial park region of southern Alberta and has yielded a highly diverse assemblage of fossil vertebrates. That is wonderful information Higgs. Despite this long collection history, this material has received relatively little research attention, largely due to the highly fragmentary nature of most recovered specimens. The assemblage presented in this paper is significant, as it constitutes a rare occurrence of plesiosaurian remains in a non-marine depositional environment. This study reports on a recently collected and prepared specimen, which represents the most complete elasmosaurid yet collected from the dinosaur park formation. That is so intriguing boson. This specimen preserves the trunk region, the base of the neck and tail, a partial fore and hind limb, and tooth and is sufficiently complete to be assigned as the holotype of a new genus and species. This new taxon is diagnosed by a distinctive character state combination including a boomerang-shaped clavicular arch with acute anterior process, convex anterolateral margin, deeply embayed posterior margin, and pronounced ventral keel, together with the presence of 22 dorsal vertebrae, and the anterior dorsal centra bearing a ventral notch. The dinosaur park formation plesiosaurian fossils were recovered from both estuarine, bay and fluvial paleochannel sediments. The holotype skeleton represents an osteologically mature individual with an estimated body length of around 5 meters, although the largest referred dinosaur park formation elasmosaurid might have been closer to 7 meters, which is considerably larger than other plesiosaurians reported from non-marine deposits. Great point boson. This suggests small body lengths relative to typical elasmosaurids from marine settings, but is consistent with other plesiosaurians recovered from non-marine sediments. The identification of a distinct elasmosaurid taxon in the dinosaur park formation might be evidence of niche partitioning among the predominantly oceanic members of the ubiquitous plesiosaurian clade. That was an interesting paper providing overview of a discovery of a new elasmosaurid in Alberta, Canada. Hope you liked it. Please follow the links to review the research in further details. Please like, share and subscribe.